Zen. Zen is the way. The Chinese word Sha is pronounced in Japan. Sha is the Chinese pronunciation of the Sanskrit word Dhyana, which means meditation. Zen is not a philosophy or a religion. Zen tries to free the mind from the slavery of words and the constriction of logic. Zen, in its essence, is the art of seeing into the nature of one's own being, and it points the way from bondage to freedom. So, here is the sixth Zen principle that may help you to live life happier. Number one, adjust your posture, adjust your breathing, adjust your mind. According to Zen teachings, the mind and body are inextricably linked. You cannot achieve mind clarity without making psychological adjustments. This is why Zen Buddhist monks, no matter how old, tend to have impeccable posture. Number two. Be light like water in your social interactions. Chinese philosopher Zhuangzi once said that relationship should be light like water. Though we now live in a time of oversharing and hyperconnectivity, the most sustainable way to cultivate meaningful relationship is to tread lightly into others' lives and delineate between yourself and others. This protects you from being swayed by others' needs and allows you to make space for your own vision and long-term goals. Number three, align your words with your actions. Those who speak in a way that is consistent with their actions invite progress and clarity into their lives. Not to mention meaningful relationships based on honesty and trust. Pay close attention to the way you speak and how it coincides with your actions. Number four. Cultivate your inner safe space. No matter how hard the time comes, it will pass. You just have to build a paradise full of positivity in your mind, where you can return unbound by the time and obligations. Number five, cherish every encounter. Widely used in tea ceremonies, this Zen principle and fundamental cultural concept in Japan describes the ephemeral nature of human encounters. When tea masters Sen no Rikyu and Lee no Ask served tea to their guests, they moved with remarkable deliberation to honor the fact that the meeting could never be repeated or replicated. It was once in a lifetime experience. In Zen, we are encouraged to treat all human encounters as sacred and irreplaceable. Number six, surround yourself with people you admire. Back in the day, clothes were stored away with an aroma pouch to keep them fragrant. So, when you put on a robe that had been stored away for a while, you were enveloped in a fine aroma. The robe itself was odorless, of course, but the fragrance that it inherited elevated the experience of getting dressed in the morning. This principle can be applied to the interpersonal relationships. Surround yourself with people you admire, and soon you too may inherit their fine qualities. So. Start using these Zen principles in your routine life and let me know the changes you observe. See you in the next video.